little look at Sankey diagrams. The reason these keep coming up is because Sankey diagrams basically are the underpinning bit to the first law of conservation. That states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It simply changes from one form to another. And you're expected to know that. So the first law of conservation says energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It simply changes from one form to another. Okay, what does that actually mean? That means that when you're drawing a Sankey diagram, 100% of the energy that starts must end up transferred into any form of energy by the end. Okay, so let's have a look at a washing machine. So if I have a hundred joules of energy going in at the beginning, and I'll have that obviously as electrical, that electrical energy is going to change. Okay, so what are we going to make? We are going to change our electrical energy into sound energy. We have movement. We're going to have heat. And we're going to have a small amount of light. Sometimes they'll give you a graph paper to use to calculate this, which is amazing, which means that you just use the scale to work out where the energy has gone. But in the worst case scenario, you need to understand it in its simplest form. So what needs to happen is you need to allocate the right amount of energy. So I'm going to tell you, for example, we've got sound energy and we've got 40 joules of energy from your electricity being changed into sound energy. We've got 30 joules of our electrical energy being turned into movement energy. We've got 25 joules of heat energy and five joules of light energy. So what, what you now have is this 100 joules needs to split down into these proportions. So you've got 40 joules, 30 joules, 25 joules, and your five joules. And what you have is each bit actually takes its chunk of the 100 and there are no gaps. There is no energy that's not allocated or has not arrived at the other end. You can't make energy nor can you destroy it. But let me show you two of your classic mistakes when it comes to these kind of questions. Okay, in this diagram, yes, you've got your sound, your movement, your heat, and your light. But can you see here, where, where has this energy gone? You can't lose energy like this. It defies your first law of conservation. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. This is a really easy mistake, but look at the difference between the two. I'll show you another one. I can't tell you the number of times I have seen this. If you have an arrow coming out of the side of your Sankey diagram, you're basically telling me you have created energy. You cannot create energy. The food that you eat was produced because the sun's energy was trapped in a plant and the plant was either eaten by you, so you got the energy, or you ate an animal who 
ate the plant that trapped the sun. But every single thing in this world actually does live by your first law of conservation. So what you have to be able to do in your Sankey diagram is make sure that you are aware of how energy is given the same unit, which is the unit joules, so that it can always be tracked, but it changes and it's constantly on the move. Leave a comment down below and let us know if we nailed it. I hope we made that easy.